game situation. Talk about uh, what you're really looking to get out of it, I guess. Well, uh, just guys playing football. You know, we're going to we're gonna scrimmage. We're going to put them in a lot of different situations. You know, it's just not going to be just line up and just play football. Uh, we're not ready for that yet. You know, we're going to break it down in the situation, and we're going to play situational football and scrimmage on Saturday. And, uh, get, again, we'll get these guys to understand the game and how it's supposed to be played and knowing what to do on certain downs, you know. Um, and so we're going to do that on Saturday. And, and as we move forward, we'll get to more of a game-like situation and just play. But kind of breaking it down in segments and, and teaching these guys how to play on third down and short, how to play on third and medium, third and long, you know, first and ten, you know, what we're looking to get, you know, and try to, you know, this is a process and trying to work up to playing the full game. But guys keeping those situations in, in mind. So looking for guys to take charge then individually as well, I would imagine, because you, know, you guys will be off the field and the coaches won't be in the huddle. Exactly. Is that one of the things also? Exactly, especially for the quarterback. He's got to take control of the huddle. He's got to get in there and look those guys in the eyes, and they got to feel like my leader's going to lead us down the field. We're comfortable with this guy being in You know, and the coach is not in there. You got to do this, you got to do that. You know, just let him play. You know, we'll coach off the field. You know, it's almost, it's almost like a uh, kind of a daily report on Pelasasa, but you know, with him, you know, obviously getting more of the reps now. Again, what did you think of him after today, <coughs> another, another full day in there? Uh, wasn't as good as the other day. But, I mean, it was part of, but he still did some good things. He made plays. Uh, one thing about a kid, the kid, he's a winner. You know, he'll find a way to make a play. Sometimes it's not the right way. You know, I guess it's, I guess it's not a right or wrong way to make a play, but but uh, he, he made some plays today, and he also made some. Not so good plays, you know, just, um, again, lack of focus, you know. You watch them, you see defense doing a certain thing. When I get out there and I see them do that same thing, me personally, as a coach, I expect for those guys to see it and execute because we saw it all practice, all spring. And um, so, I mean, for him personally, again, fatigue, you know, fatigue, you lose focus, and we'll see him focus a little more. You know, he probably could have made a couple more plays if we just focus a little more. But, like I say, he's, those reps that he's getting is really helping him. It's really helping him get more comfortable in the offense and get more comfortable in the huddle. You know, and what it's doing too is a lot of his teammates to see him make plays. And those guys get excited about him. You know, and I think that's that's big playing quarterback. You get the team to, to fall behind. You expect.